category is let's go vote <laughs> So I voted. Yeah, there was so much drama. I'm gonna tell you guys about it later. I just realized editing this that I did not, in fact, give you any tea. So there were two instances. The first instance was a woman who literally took the opportunity while there was some commotion by the door to go and stand by the door, like in between these other ladies. And no one like realized this until the people who she was with in the back came to the front and were like, hello like you totally skip the line and we're not gonna accept this we're not gonna tolerate this so it was so dramatic it took i think 30 minutes for her to finally accept that she had skipped the line and it was just a mess she was so rude she was like oh my god it, why are you bringing your drama on me why are you bringing your problems from home on me it was so disrespectful like she was just being so disrespectful she even left and everyone and then the guard was like you've lost a voter and we're like we really don't care like we people who behave like that don't deserve to vote because clearly they accept bullshit and do stupid things then the second issue was this girl who was standing in the wrong line she did not take the initiative to read her voters card and see where she was supposed to be voting within the polling station and i think she was escorted not even i think i saw her being escorted by one of the people at the like ecz people like the people who are supposed to be monitoring us you know and she brings out the front of the line and we were like no she may not cut in front of the line and she was like i've been here since five o'clock in the morning and we we're like honey we have all been here since five and four or three o'clock in the morning so please just get to the back of the line the guard just took her to the back of the line like we're not having it we're not entertaining it so yeah those were the little instances it was a dramatic time for everyone i'm just glad everyone you know persevered and stayed and voted you know it was a great experience very patriotic mm -mm. this voting process in zambia it needs to be <laughs> it needs to be revised i don't know if it's the same everywhere in the world or what but it's bad hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to you my name is lo and today I just realized that I did not say hi to you guys in the previous clips. So yeah, I was rushing to go vote. It we left at like 4:30. No, yeah, around that time. We left really, really early, and ish. We only finished voting, I think, five hours later. So that was a lot. I'm at my mom's place because I have so much anxiety. I didn't want to be alone in my house, so yeah um today we are going to chance love of home it's a chinese store so yeah i hope it's safe you know things have really been popping off since the elections yesterday and there's just so much uncertainty so much fear so much anxiety everyone is on edge like it's unbelievable you know our social medias aren't working properly and it's just a little bit you know though nothing has been confirmed or denied really about that but like yeah so we're just yeah getting ready to go we're just in a really weird funk me and my mom today so i'm sure everyone is or was since this is going to be posted next week oh my mom's saying fuck what happened okay so she said that they're only going to announce the next batch of results at 15 hours which is like five hours from now and we're just so stressed and i don't know it is so painful to carry a child for nine months you bet that child you educate that child first of all you breastfeed for one year you educate that child you send that child 
boys to school, you send them to primary school, you send them to secondary school, you send them to to your university. What men, some of our men are not working. We are selling vegetables. We are doing all sorts of. What are these? Are these hot water bottles? Yeah, they are hot water bottles, but I think I can plug them, but... Look at these cute hot water bottles. <laughs> For putting in your bag. Look at the cute stationery. Who can they cover his name? How are we supposed to know his name? My name is Nkombo. Gary Nkombo. Uh, representing the UPND. Speaking to you as the chairman responsible for election and campaign. My comment, rather than a question, to the commission, this is the very first time since Zambia became a republic that elections results have taken this long to start getting disseminated. To be given during the 15 hours uh, update from the Electoral Commission of Zambia, but instead it will take another hour. We have no interest in who wins or not. We are Zambians after all, as commissioners. The interest of our nation is our me. first priority. I'll start with Federal Constituency, Luanga District, Lusaka Province. An objection, please. With your permission, I'm seeking, I'm seeking the floor to raise a matter that needs your attention. And then we can proceed. It will take a minute or even less. Mr. Nkombo, please kindly allow the process. What we'll do is that we'll allow for the results to be announced. Once just let them say what they want to say. What is it, guys? You seeking us to proceed. I wish to remind you that the process always protects the content of whatever you are doing. If you're going to jump one little detail of the process, you're going to spoil the entire broth. Mm -hmm. This concern is not only coming from the UPND, but as you have heard, what sounds to be people heckling is a concern by a lot of other stakeholders. Mr. Nkombo, can you proceed and make it brief? All right. Mr. Renzo, please come and raise your Chief, Chief Electoral Officer, the results that have been given for FERA are different from what our people on the ground are telling us. And these results have not been followed by the record of proceeding. They have not been followed by Gen 20. B. And we have not sought to approve or to, affirm, to, to verify these results so that we agree that these, these results are correct. We are still that side. We are only being told that the results are being announced here. Is that it? The player who you asked to wait for the verification exercise, which has not happened, are objecting to you proceeding. So it is only in order, it is only respectable, it is only respectful to the stakeholders and those people who woke up yesterday at 1 a.m. to go and cast their votes, mm. that you go through the entire meal, the entire process, that you leave everybody happy. But you told us to go upstairs to wait for verification of the failure constituency and we told that uh, Maybe Patricia Rwanda will come, but the uh, chicken command will come and address us. We've been waiting for 30 minutes, no one has come. Only to hear that the results are being announced. Wow. One, one hour. Wow. No, it's not right. We take strong exception to that. During verification, as stakeholders, what you're supposed to do is because you have deployed polling agents at every polling station. Yes. You are given verified results on the part of the commission, and it is your duty to verify those results with your agents. And they've said it's not the same. At this point, the commission will retreat and will ask that those agents in the political parties please proceed back to your room and you will be guided. 
Thank you. We would like to thank you very sincerely. And then for, what? I'm still addressing you. Hello, don't go. Excuse me. Don't go. We are still addressing the don't commission. Go. We are still addressing the commission, please. That is not right. That attitude is not right. They've gone. Yes. They can, oh my god, that's so disrespectful. Like I am so stressed. I am just going to make myself those hot noodles and just try and navigate the madness. I'm sure you can hear my mother in the background talking to her sister. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> guys this election you can like i haven't been drinking water the way i'm supposed to be drinking water and i'm just so stressed today there was no power all morning i'm sure that was the case for everyone else as well there was some issues with zesco and yeah but i was listening to everything kept up to date with um the internet like live streams and stuff and eventually power came back and i heard that uh upnd was in the lead and pf was not even close behind so let's see what happens tomorrow should be the last day i mean the ecz only has the electoral commission of zambia only has 72 hours and it's you know getting dangerously close so so far 30 something constituencies have been read out and we have over 120 left to go so let's hope that tomorrow they stick to time because they've really been not punctual and i find that very disrespectful and you know i get it like they said people work hard and also i just didn't like how everything ended today very rude um you know talking about let us rest like we we know no one told you not to sleep i feel like just a lot of deflection a lot of defensiveness that is not necessary and yeah let's just hope tomorrow is better <laughs> Okay, but seriously, what was up with this guy? He was so disruptive, and the way he was celebrating, it was like you'd think that it would be UPND acting like this, but no, it was PF, the losing party, getting thrown out by the army. He's busy complaining. Like, I don't understand when he was being so disruptive. He just he appeared to be intoxicated and chucked out rightly so but i don't understand why he came back after being tossed out the first time you know what i mean anyway he was just so annoying even his explanation of what happened didn't make sense man i feel like fools i was still the phone call from my home to my colleague she was on the phone call being attacked Hello. nearly let's go on the phone call and being attacked is someone you drunk no how no 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 Let's not do that. Let's see where it's going. Stop. Surely, right. okay. Okay, look at surely barely on the phone. No, no, I don't know. I know. But yeah. I think it's no, a little no, 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 no. Why the hell don't know? I'll go on, but I'm late. I'll be with you. Okay, it's over. Right?
Excuse me. There is no notice. Mm -hmm. of, no, 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 no. I want to make something very clear. You're for me, but not my name. <laughs> there is no notice that falls off. Right? Yeah. If there was a rules announced by this is it, no man, no man should have the phone call, but the suit. This is that they in charge. And the matter be very clear. This is that have never stopped me talking on the phone. All this is that in charge. Not PF, not anybody else. But why are you alone? I'm not alone. I'm with you. But why are you alone? I'm not alone. We are told two people per session to put a party. Why speaking? There's one other thing there. We are two. We are. Excuse me. That is my personal phone. Room editor, PF. 1,600,000. Room editor, 1,664,000. 1,464,000. 1,464,000. We worked so hard. We stood in those lines. We registered to vote, and we made a change for ourselves. Like, obviously, we know that it's not, you know, magic, and we don't know what's in store in the future. But at least we know that if we're not happy, we're gonna change it again. So I'm so happy. My voice has been gone. I'm so happy, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm so thankful, Zambia. Like, I love you guys. I know we worked really hard for this. Thank you so much. And let's get this bread. 